other wins that I had booking three, four, five clients in one day. And I had five events in one day. <laughs> in your business. I need to fail. It, it's good to fail mm -hmm. because failure is going to help you in the future. Hey designers, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. In this video, you get to meet one of my designers, Leslie, who participated in my coaching program. She had phenomenal success in a very short amount of time, and I knew her story needed to be shared. So, she's going to discuss her journey before we even met to the time she participated in the coaching program and after to where, if you clicked on this title, She's booking clients back to back to back to back to back. I mean, she even booked five clients in a day and she continues to thrive with her success with getting back to back clients. If getting back to back clients is something that you struggle with, feel free to watch this video. And I also have a free training for you with the link down below on how to really go from charging zero dollars to really getting those back-to-back -back clients and it's the same framework that i've used when it came to coaching leslie and the other designers in my coaching program so if you're excited and you want to hear the journey unfold for leslie please keep watching well hey. hello superstar hi hi justine i miss you <laughs> i miss your coaching i haven't seen nothing because i have I've been sleeping. Welcome to my channel, guys. Um, I have a special, special, special designer here with y'all. We have Leslie, um, and I'll let you introduce yourself. Um, but just to get some some uh, background from me, Leslie was one of my designers that I coached last year. And you know what's funny? Amber's testimonial, I kept saying, oh, I, you know, I coached you guys in October when I found out, like, literally, I lost track of time. And it was last August-ish, like, J July, August. So it was last summer. <laughs> We're almost out of here knowing each other, yes. right? And you've obviously yes. told me. And so, yeah, introduce yourself, who you are, how do you, you know, and then we'll kind of get started with the questions. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Leslie, and I am the owner of The Lights by Leslie. Um, I'm a baker and I customize treats. <laughs> um, for those of you, again, who are joining, Leslie has been such, it's been a whirlwind of watching your success, Leslie, like unfold literally before my eyes um, to go you. from literally zero clients. Or maybe I think you have one in the beginning. We'll talk about your beginning journey. But to yeah. know that you're going like back to back clients within a week. It's pretty ridiculous to me. Like it's <laughs> unreal the amount of, you know, success you've had in your business. But kind of walk me where you were with your business idea, mental wise, and and then like I guess we can have a stopping point of like when you actually found me and was like, I need to be coached. So um I originally so I moved to Florida. I'm originally from New York. I moved to Florida. And um, I started working and unfortunately that job didn't work out, which was the best thing because um, after that, that's when I started like trying to brainstorm and trying to see how I can make money or how I can, you know, just have some kind of income coming in because I always work. I'm, I'm a hard worker. So I always worked and not doing anything in the house was like, so I started thinking about a food truck, but the food truck idea was long, like for a long time, I wanted to do a food truck for years. And my husband kept on saying, no, that's too much. It's going to be too much for you. Months passed, months passed. And then my, my um, daughter, she was like, oh, I'm going to do my son's birthday. I want you to do a couple of treats. And I'm like, okay. So I went ahead and I did the treats. And then at the party, I started telling everybody I do treats and I do cakes and I do everything. Mind you, never done nothing. <laughs> I never, I, it was like, it was like, I do all of this, but I really, in my head is like, I really don't. <laughs> so, so then after that, I got hired again um, by my brother um, in New York. So I sent him some treats and then he hired me again 
for a baby shower for Valentine's Day and boom. You know, I didn't know how to price nothing at that point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody, I guess, was loving my prices because <laughs> they were really low. And, <laughs> and it was just, I was, get, I was just getting clients back to back after that. But it wasn't like, like, um, it was like one client a month maybe but to me that was big because I'm like oh my god I just started you know people are hiring me even if it's once a month I got um business cards so I got business cards and I started handing them out I started handing them out I started um promoting myself I started baking stuff and taking it places taking it to um GYN and pediatricians offices I just wanted to like bring people into my business I was I was walking into this blind and um one day I'm looking through Instagram and your post comes up oh who needs to be coached and you know you was just I was just so happy that that post came and I was like oh my god I need her help because I really don't know what I'm doing and then I took the chance on you I, I dm'd you and you dm'd me back and then it just started from there as uh i always tell people that i don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore but the one thing i always look for and people who are perfect for my program you know a lot of people are like well what do you offer and i'm just like you know i'm trying to get a course out there that really helps people go from having no money having no clients to really building higher profits and attracting those people and those clients who are really wanting to you know buy from you and the one thing I always look for in designers and I always tell people these are the designers who are perfect for, no matter what I push out there to the public is people who are so hungry that they're not going to wait to be guided they're going to literally fail succeed anything and everything in between even in the beginning or without even being coached so I loved and that was one of the biggest criterias I looked for when I was coaching is because I had to see were they waiting for someone to hold their hand or were they hungry enough to get the results for themselves? Leslie was one of the people who were like, you know, it's a funny story. I want you to tell the story of how you actually found me because your story of how you found me is very different from most people. Most people find me on my YouTube, but you found me in a different way. So and I'm a big believer in you're always at the right place at the right time. I'm, I'm a big believer in that. And one day I'm going to Hobby Lobby and I'm the type that I'm always looking at the clock and it's always like 12, 12 or 10, 10 or 11, 11 or 4, 4, 4 or, you know, just all these random numbers. And I remember going into Hobby Lobby and as I was um, going into Hobby Lobby, it was 10, 10. I remember that. I go in. Um, at this moment, I'm promoting myself. So I have my cards and I see this girl. She's on an aisle buying chocolates. And I was on the same aisle getting stuff for my new business. And I was doing my daughter's birthday. And I stopped her. And I'm like, hey, I'm um, doing a party. I do parties and stuff. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm an event planner. And it just so happened that this event planner, it was your mentor. Like, how crazy is that? <laughs> and so as I went to the centerpieces aisle, there was a lady talking about weddings and how she needed cookies. And I never did cookies in my life. And I told her, yeah, I do cookies and here's my card. And she actually hired me. She actually, the, that same night she called me and um, she was like, oh, can you bring samples and stuff? She paid for the samples. She paid for me to go all the way over there. She was like an hour and a half away. And um, she hired me for a wedding. Unfortunately, the wedding was um, canceled, but she still hired me for cakes and stuff. So, and, and I went ahead and did the cakes for her for Christmas, which was a good thing. Um, so I started following um, Eileen and I found Justine. <laughs> I found Justine through quotes because her quotes were so inspirational. And like I said, I'm a person that I feel like, you know, like the universe is always talking to you. And I love quotes. I love anything that has to do with anything positive, anything, you know, encouraging, anything that lifts you. I, I, I love it. So when I saw your page, your page was all about that. And I wanted to do it all. And you showed how to do balloon garland. So I'm like, oh, okay. 
So because I wanted to do it all, and now this this person showing how to do balloon garlands, I'm like, oh, okay. So I started following you, and that's how we met. That's how I got to meet Justine. In the future, and you guys know a little story about me. It's just like I, I started focusing on balloons, and then the pandemic hit. And I think around that time is when Leslie met Eileen, and I was already pivoting. I was just like, you know what? I really want to help other people start this business. And they say, if you start a business in a pandemic or around it and you succeed through it, you're going to make it. So I was just like, you know what, let me just give it a try. And then lo and behold, she ended up following me. And then come to find out on our coaching calls, we knew Eileen and she was like, oh my God, I didn't know you know her. And because <laughs> I shot me on her Instagram once before. So just know that because of my mentors, I always tell people is that I'm a person who loves to give and obviously deliver generosity you know that's the core of my business that's the core of who I am it's because I had so many blessings of people who constantly you know look out for me when we started coaching like you said you had like one client per month but you were so grateful <laughs> and I truly admire I that was. about you because <laughs> I was so de- depressed <laughs> when I was getting one client I was like oh my god I'm never gonna make it but like that's just who you are you're always so grateful for every small thing which Again, we'll get into where you are now because it's unreal um, for someone to be in such success in your business. But walk us through. So me and you started working together, right? You jumped on the opportunity just like Amber and about four other people. So walk us through like what let's talk. Let's talk about mindset, because a lot of people don't realize like that's where the coaching is. That's where we live. All strategies work. And I always say this, all strategies work. I could teach you one yes. thing, another thing, and another thing. They all work. Yes. But it's the mindset. So yes. talk, let's talk about where you were mindset-wise, because you said you didn't know how to price, but you were getting yes. clients. So walk us through that in the beginning. Yes. Like, what was going on up here? So um, so I didn't know how to price, right? And I, like I said, I didn't know what exactly I was doing. I was just going with the flow. And I was already... Um, like I, I would look at other people's pages just to see how much they were pricing stuff. So I would put the prices lower <laughs> just so I can get higher, you know? So that's a little secret you probably didn't know. But right, no, I did it, not. You know? That was hilarious. So I, you know, <laughs> I wanted to get hired. I'm like, you know what? I want to get hired if my prices are lower, you know, not knowing what I know now, of course. I think when I started with you and you started with, it's about the mindset. It's about, you know, you were just bringing stuff up in, in your strategies and your teaching that I would be like, Oh wow, no, you're right. And it wasn't until I met you and you started coaching me that I realized that, yes, I can that. Yes. It's a mind thing. Even though I I was already out there and even though I wanted I wanted it because I was hungry. I wanted to be successful. I wanted to have a business. It wasn't until you started teaching me that my mindset shift to, you know what? I could do this. I'm going to do it. There's no stopping me. There's, you know, we have limited beliefs. Those limited beliefs, bye-bye. Because, you know, after I did that mind shift and after our coaching, it just like... It was like you were meant to be in my life because it was it just it just went off from there. Yeah. Like I I believe that the first month that we started was in August, right? Yeah. July, August we started. And I already had an event in August, but I only ha- I think I had two events in August. And then after that I was getting uh, in September I think I had like 3 or 4 October I was booked for the first time and I wasn't even well it was going to be a year in October and I was booked. Right. Like I was really booked and I was so happy and excited because I was like, wow, like, you know, her strategies are really working. And at this point, I'm still not in front of the camera. There was still work. I still needed work. I still, there was a lot of work that I needed to, to learn and I needed to get through, you know, and you were still there with us and you were still pushing and December was an okay month for me because I was booked. January came and I only had like one, but you wasn't in my life. (laughs) You wasn't there. (laughs) Okay. Uh, So (laughs) I promise guys, I am not paying Leslie to say anything like this. So then you came back. 
<laughs> and then when you came back, <laughs> when you came back, it was like a whole shift. Like whatever you went through and what you had to go through, thank God that you had to go through that. You know why? Because when you came back and you had your shift, it was like you shifted all of us. Right. Because I can only talk for me. All the other designers that you have are wonderful and they are doing so great. And it was like that shift came with me. That your shift came with me, with Amber, with everyone, because I just started putting out content. I just started like something just clicked in my mind. Okay, now I have to do this like this and I have to do this like that. And, you know, and then you just started coaching us again and we just started, you know, and it just, it's just been great. I, you know, I, I described this in Amber's uh, video too. It's just that, you know, December was a rough month. Just in general, like it was such a mix of emotions. Like I couldn't even describe it, but I, I know as a person that I was like, you know, even as a person, as a personal person, not even as a business person, is that when we go through the valleys, when we go through the lowest lows, you know, there's a transformation that is going on and taking place. And I already knew this. It's just, it was just a fast decline very quickly to the point where I was just like, not that I was giving up because I'm a person, I play sports. I can't give up. It's just not in my nature. My mom raised me that way. But I knew for sure, I was just like, I have to show up. <laughs> like at the end of the day, January came around and I was like, I'm not sitting here. I didn't accomplish anything I wanted to accomplish. I did. You guys had great success, but I didn't have my success the way I wanted it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm still going to show up anyways. I don't care how this year pans out. I have some goals, some projects that I want to get done and I'm going to do it regardless of how long it takes. Right. And that mindset shift was one of the ones I needed as a coach to really push forward and like push past like every single challenge I've had since then. And it has showed in my coaching because it's reflected, like you said, when the energy is, it's all about energy. And when people have similar energies and they respond to yours, magic does happen. And we'll talk about your magic. Cause I want to save that for last. I want people to watch this because <laughs> Leslie has some magic to share. <laughs> but what I want to do is, Kind of go through, walk me through the challenges. So one of the challenges you said was pricing, right? Another challenge was your mindset shifts. What were some challenges you had along the way, even with coaching or even without? Like, let's talk about your slow months. I know it was a steady increase, um, but what was going on when it came to, you know, your as a business owner? Like, what challenges did you have to face or even go through to get to where you are now? I went through a lot. I went through a lot of failures. I can tell you that, mm -hmm. um, you know, and they were learning experience for me, even being coached by you. I, I, you know, <laughs> things happen and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I learned that I need to take my emotions out. I learned that I, I need to have a CEO mindset. I have to, I have to think as a CEO and not as Leslie, the personal Leslie, I need to take the personal out and I need to focus on what I really want, which is my business. So my mindset had to be CEO mindset, not Leslie mindset. You know, a lot of people when they start off this business, they don't realize how much of their personal experience they're bringing into the business decisions, especially the ones that are hard, are hard to do, right? I can remember one time, so, and definitely walk us through this story where you had, I don't know if you had treats in the car, but then something in your car went completely yes. hot, whatever, like what happened <laughs> in that? Remember that I was like in the early on and <laughs> that was in September. I will never forget that. That was right. just starting and I got hired um, from a girl from New York. She hired me for her, um, for treats for her dad. It was cake pops. And I went ahead and I made the cake pops. So I was by myself. Usually my husband's with me. So he, you know, he'll start the car and he sets everything up. But that day I was by myself. So I went ahead and I turned on the AC, which was really the heater in the <laughs> back. Okay. Because I was rushing. Mm. That's what happened. So everything, I, I mean, along the way, we're going to get to that. But I was rushing. And that's what happens when you rush. Or reality, the heater <laughs> was on the whole time. When I took out those cake pops, they were melted. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because I was like, oh my gosh, she paid me so much money. And she tipped me on top of that. 
Can can you say she, that again? She, she, she tipped you me. One of your yes. experiences. <laughs> yes. So, that was the crazy part. Right, right. And I, you know, I remember that because it was a really hard experience. And I was just like, oh shoot, I don't, I'm not a baker. I don't even know. Like that it makes sense what now, like, okay, yes, things have to definitely be cool. But what was your biggest lesson outside of like you know, make sure things are cool and not rushing. Do you remember? I think I told you this. I don't know if you um, remember. What was your lesson that you learned? I think um, I had to manage my time better. My time management was one of them because with time management, at least you can get to do things at a pace that, you know, everything, you know, you can double check all the time and you can, you know, triple check because you have the time instead of rushing. And um, I think that's one of the lessons I learned. Yeah. Um I you also what learned, I said about fail- failures in your business. I need to fail. It's it's good to fail mm-hmm. because failure is gonna help you in the future. And you have to fail. It's better to fail now than to fail later in your business. And you know what? And that was the best and greatest advice that you ever gave me because that one situation that I thought that it was the worst, I think it was the best thing that happened just because it was such a learning experience. And it hasn't happened again. Absolutely. I made sure of that. <laughs> it hasn't happened again. Fail fast and learn your lessons quickly because when you guys fail, it becomes, it, you won't really make that same mistake, especially if it's a hard failure. Like showing up to your a paying client with a destroyed thing that they've invested and then she tips you. So then I also told Leslie too, is just that you have to understand that's what we call dream clients, right? Dream clients are so understanding. They don't really, you know, what is the word? They don't really like, they're so forgiving of you, you know? And then she tipped you, which means that she saw the value that you brought even in the way beginning, you know? And I know we'll talk about like your future wins too, but sometimes even the people who have were forgiving for us in the, in the beginning of our business might not follow us, you know, as we progress forward in our business. And that's okay too. continue to embrace failure, whatever your definition of failure is, because my definition of failing is giving up, right? That's the true failure in my eyes. Everything else is just lessons to get you progress forward in your business. <laughs> so let's talk about the win. So I know you had clients coming in, you had a couple of hundred followers, you know, you were trying to reach that goal of a thousand followers, but what were some of your biggest wins? Let's talk about last year. And then, <laughs> and then we'll forward into this year. Cause those are totally okay. two different types of wins. Um, yes. so let's talk about your wins in last year. What were some of your big, biggest takeaways or wins in your business as you were being, um, covered? One of um, my biggest wins was that I got hired by my coach and that was a big win to me because she actually believed in me so much that she hired me and I was very honored to do that. And I really put my all into that baby shower and I feel that that baby shower came out so pretty. (laughs) Other wins that I had booking three, four, five clients in one day, <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. I think that's gonna be the title of this video. Booking, five, <laughs> I think it was like four and one on the way. So I'm gonna say five because I think you booked it anyways. Five yes. clients in one day. day. Let's, let's, let's yes. just pause there because we have to. Pause. <laughs> what do you think it took for you to book five, five clients in one day? It well, I um I had done a, a birthday party for um someone and I guess she had you know people like real estate agents there and she had other you know clients there and I guess one of the clients tasted my food or whatever and she put a comment up and I woke up to that comment and I was like oh wow like you know this lady really liked my stuff so I went ahead and I posted it on my stories and lord and behold because of that comment that that lady put up all these people reached out to me Mm. all these that one day all these people reached out to me and they're not even they're not even from here they're out of state they were all out of state okay so that's the title so find (laughs) out how to book five out of state clients in a day (laughs) that's amazing and this is something what i call in my coaching program is it's called the herd mentality right people will follow suits and 
go where the herd is going, right? Where do people go? People are validating your work, you know, with those testimonials and reviews or comments or feedback. And then when the moment you share, now I'm not guaranteeing, there isn't, I wanna, I wanna stress this, just because Leslie did it doesn't mean it's guaranteed for anyone else, right? That's just what I call luck. And I don't believe in luck. I believe luck is preparation meets opportunity. And that is your luck. You've prepared for so long, like a, a year and a half into your business to get something like booking five clients in a day. You know, that's where your opportunity is presented itself because you've done so much preparation, right? I don't, you know, when people watch these videos, I want them to realize like when you hear these wins, right? That are like, oh my goodness, you know, like, I can't believe that's possible. That's exactly what it is. It's what's possible, but it's not guaranteed. Like I've never booked, I will never claim that either. I will never claim I booked five clients in a day. Like that's just unbelievable, you know, pure <laughs> divine and pure, you know, universe, everything kind of pulls it in together, but you are the energy that you give out, you know? So when you are telling yourself, it's, you're never going to get clients, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, how do I get it? It starts here, you know? Mm -hmm. I will tell you, you, Leslie, you believe clients will come, right? There's no doubt in your mind. You've never actually had that doubt. Some people do, but you never said it out loud because I think you are mm -hmm. a true believer that things will work out when they're supposed to. Yeah, they and are, and they will. Your and they will, wind, yes. Right. And it explains why, like to this day, I think we tried to book our call last week and she had too many clients. She couldn't even book a call with me. And I was running wow. late for it. So, um, but that's a good problem. And I told her, like, no, this is what I want. I want, although we talk, you know, from time to time, I want you to be so busy that it's hard to get a hold of you because that means you're you're giving me the reason to keep going, you know, like. Wow, this is what's capable. This is what people can have, right? This is what people can get. <laughs> Bookings every week, you know? Um, yeah. Let's talk about now. So what are some of your biggest wins? I know you've had a lot along the way. Five in one day was definitely a, a big win in my eyes. Um, can you describe yeah. anything else? So that was five bookings in one day. And then I had five events in one day. <laughs> <laughs> are these the same clients? No. Oh, so totally no. different. Well, only two of them. Only two of them were only two of them were the same clients. Thank Your you. Your work. I always tell Leslie, like, if y'all don't go follow her, make sure you do. I'll put her information <laughs> down below, but your work is like literally should be on like celebrity food network. Like it really oh, thank when you. I, I booked her for this baby shower. Um, I asked my client, I was just like, How did it how did it taste? Because I didn't get to taste it. And they were like, Nobody wanted to eat it because it was too pretty. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like yes it was so good so another thing too um and i can vouch for that is that your treats are not only look beautiful but they are so good like and i'm not a okay. i'm not even a cake person right i'm in the event industry and i don't like cake i really don't like cake i didn't even get i got two tier cake and cupcakes with different flavors because i prefer cupcakes and i don't like icing i don't i'm telling y'all there's only a few people on this earth that i actually like their icing Leslie's one of them, like her icing, her cake, <laughs> very moist, very light, you know, like I can't describe it, airy. I don't know what words to use. Thank you. And then you didn't even like, I think you were telling me this a couple of weeks ago. You didn't even want to become a baker, right? Is that true? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you didn't even want to become a baker. So how did you stumble upon that? You just like, oh, let me try it out. And yeah. Like I said, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to do everything. So I started off, I was a PTA mom. So I was a PTA mom. And I don't, everybody used to always love my cupcakes. Oh my God. Oh my God. They used to hide them. <laughs> they used to hide the cupcakes. They were like, that. who did it? Leslie? Yeah. They would hide them in the PTA room. Wait till they watch this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. used to hide it. <laughs> that is so funny. They, yes. So. Um, I would do that. I was into that, but I never like, honestly, honestly, never, ever thought. And just looking at my journey, Justine, like when I was young, I used to go to pottery. Look at this. When I was young, I used to go to pottery classes. Um, I used to like um, drawing and I used to like coloring. When I was pregnant of my first daughter, um, I had a whole precious moments book 
that mm. I would sit down every day and I would color in it every day. And I love doing stuff like that. Not knowing though, not knowing I planned everyone's birthday. I used to be so detailed in what I wanted and how I wanted it, but I was always focused on, I need to pay rent. I need to pay bills. So baking or being an event planner or being any of that never crossed my mind. I had to work. Mm -hmm. I was a nurse. I was a dental assistant and I became a nurse. And I did that for a while. And it wasn't fulfilling. It really wasn't. I did it because I had to pay my bills and I had to, you know, I had a family. That's how you said it. The way you're brought up and the way you think that, oh, you need to work a nine to five. Mm. That's what you have to do. And and no, it's not. <laughs> it's right. not. And I didn't come to realize that until now. And I'm 38. Mm. So, you know, it's like, you know how people say, oh, you're too old to start new ventures. No, you're not. You could be 50 and still start and still be successful. I always say too, it's just like when you tap in. So Leslie was in her zone of excellence, especially when we started, but she kept, but these treats kept coming up, these baking stuff. And I'm like, you know, all right, so I'm going to call a spade a spade, right? And, and Leslie knows, I say things out of the kindness of my heart, but I say yes. them because it's so intuitive in me that I have to say it. And I'm like, Leslie, why are you doing all of these, these events? You're so good at cakes and treats. Why are you doing events? Like I would tell people that all the time because it doesn't make sense to me when you're naturally mm -hmm. good at something people keep coming to you. You're getting clients that are booking for this item. Why right. are you doing other things? You yeah. know, focus on what you're naturally being attracted to. That's the energy your business needs to thrive because that's when your business will thrive and will progress mm -hmm. and create that momentum. You had a nine to five, right? And yeah. I've experienced this too. And I'm always curious because a lot of my designers are in their nine to five while trying to create a business. What is some advice that you would give to someone who has to balance two of those things going on. Leave your nine to five. <laughs> Leave it. Simple. <laughs> Leave it. it. It's just simple as that. Leave it. Because you trying to do both. And yes, you have to pay bills. But you also have a vision. And how are you going to know that this vision that you have is going to work if you're stuck in this nine to five? That's not letting you. It, it's literally not letting you and you can get exhausted quick. You can get tired. There's a lot of things that you might want to do in your vision business, but you can't because your nine to five is not letting you. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, and if you want to be successful and if you really want this and you're hungry for it, you're going to continue with your dream and continue to do what you want and know what's best for you and leave your nine to five because it's hard to do both. When I got into the business, I ha didn't have a nine to five. So I don't know how difficult it would have been if I was trying to run the business and having my nine to five. I'm just going by what I hear other people going through and how their nine to five is exhausting and they really can't get to what they need to get because this nine to five is holding them back. And through you, I've learned, go after your dreams, go after what you want, do what you want, because once you go for it and, and you continue with your dream, magic starts happening. And it does magic starts happening. And I wanted to touch base on that book. Yeah. I haven't read it yet, oh. but I hear all the quotes and everything that you talk about it. And there was this one time that I believe that you put in your stories. Um, things start happening when you're doing a business, right? And it's like you fail, but a lot of things just get in the way. Like I didn't touch this and I didn't touch base in this in the beginning, but before I started getting coached by you, my leg broke mm. I had a torn meniscus and I had parties so this is why it was hard for me to do parties with one leg I had my whole family helping me they all believed that I could do it and even though it was just that one event that I had for my family to have helped me and believe in me and pushed me that helped me more as well to continue it's like once you reach your upper limit i believe it was about reaching things start happening 
and you need to go past that. And I did that. Yep. I did that. I, I, I passed that because I didn't give up. I pushed through that. I did it. There was nights that I didn't even sleep because I wanted my events to come out good without being able to walk. It's hard to believe in something you can't physically see, but if you can mentally see it, right, it's there for you. And I, I can't stress that enough. It was a blessing because not only did you transcend and push through, it aligned you with where you're supposed to be. It's almost like you are going down the wrong path and your body's like, no, let's stay focused right here. And although you did a few events along the way, it kind of funneled you to be very specific. And your trip yeah. and, and your takes are, you know, it's only up from here. And it's amazing to watch you progress forward, even past things that are supposed to set you back. If you want to know how to get back to back clients, transcend into your zone of genius and watch what happens. Because that's where um, you, the law of attraction plays. That's where if you believe in God, if you believe in anything, the universe, whatever you believe in, quantum physics, anything, that's where it all lives. That's, I mean, it's just another term to talk about what we're naturally born here to do. What is some advice you can give people? Um, get yourself a mentor. If you really don't know what you're doing and you want to start, get yourself someone that's going to help you align yourself the right way, um, help you through steps, um, guide you. You know, and it's not to say that, and it's like Justine says, it's not to say that she's going to take you by the hand and tell you, oh, you're going to do this and do that. No, her strategies are, like she said, she, she asks you or she asks questions, or is this what you really want? Or she encourages you, but you need to do the work. You need to do it. You need to do the work. You need to, um, if this is what you want, this is what you're going to go for. Okay. And focus on that one thing and focus on one thing don't focus on twenty thousand things because it's not once you focus on one thing and one thing only things are going to start happening for you right. then if you want to add stuff then of course you know it can happen but focus on one thing because that's the only way that you're going to success succeed faster i also wanted to add you know last year in my business event I really didn't make much money because my prices were low, <laughs> but I learned with my coach and, and her strategies and doing the right prices, it would get me to where I'm at now. This year alone, I've made more <laughs> than I made last year and we're only on April, right? right. Yeah, <laughs> we're only in April. So I can say maybe last year, I, prob I probably did maybe less than two thousand mm dollars -hmm. maybe or maybe less than that i really don't know because i wasn't keeping track of my stuff <laughs> that's another thing that you will learn <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's another thing so get her classes okay because you're gonna learn a lot with her um to now from january to now i'm up to 52 i think 5200 so okay. yeah and i still have like five Thank six more know. months to go so Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. She's been a big help. She's been a big help in that too. Pricing, anything you need. Pricing, mind shift, a friend, coach. She's everything. She's everything you just want. And, you know, and she's the best. And I recommend her to anyone. I, I have something else to put in okay. to add. We had a live, which was my first live. And I remember in this live, I told you that I couldn't wait for your clients to be successful. Yes. <laughs> I had to clap on that because your clients after that or anyone else that hired you after that, they're doing so wonderful, Justine. And it's the magic that you give. So kudos <laughs> to you for having such a successful business because look at where we at. How booked are you um, from here on out? Like how far? So I'm booked right now until September. To kind of end our our time together tell people how they can find you how do they follow your journey okay. as a baker okay so i am um on instagram at the lights by leslie i'm also on facebook uh by the lights by leslie and i'm also on tiktok by the lights by leslie so you can follow me on all three i'll link all the stuff down below for those of you who are interested in being coached by me in the sense of like getting more information about this course 
really diving deep into understanding the secret guide on how to attract those dream clients, like what Leslie has. Leslie, you're amazing. You're Thank so you. amazing. It's been <laughs> such a true honor to watch you not only like grow as a woman, but as an, a CEO. And the less I hear from my designers, the happier I get because I know you're making those decisions and I can't wait to see how it unfolds and plays out and, you know, continue designing your dreams into reality, progressing forward through it. I wish you all the best of luck. I know this is not goodbye for us, but it's goodbye for this video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's, I will see everyone in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hi. <laughs> I told you guys it would be a really great video, right? <laughs> if you made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Again, if you're struggling with back-to-back -back clients and you want to get similar results like Leslie, feel free to click the link down below about my workshop. It will take you from charging zero dollars to really getting those back-to-back -back clients, how to really get clients to chase you, and the mistakes you need to avoid when you actually start booking clients. So. If you're interested, feel free to click the link down below. And I hope you continue designing your dreams into reality. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. I never booked back-to-back -back clients. At least not in a day. I have five clients. That's crazy. But it's true. She continues to do so. She needs to sprinkle her magic with everybody.